Presenting Superman. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Now, Superman. Events on the main line of the West Coast Railroad are rapidly reaching a climax. Speeding west, the Silver Clipper pours up the slope of the Rockies heading for San Joaquin Pass. Disaster, sudden and unseen, lies waiting for it in Schooner Canyon Lake. While Superman wings his way through space, searching desperately for the nearest mountain town, he finds it, drops down from the sky, and enters the office of the local chief of police in his character of Clark Kent, reporter. Listen. Well, you talk good. I'll say that for you, Kent. Well, if you don't believe me, telephone my paper and ask for verification. Or call the division superintendent of the West Coast Railroad at Denver. The Silver Clipper's a West Coast train, isn't it? Well, it is now, but it won't be long. I tell you, if something isn't done in a hurry... Then okay, but how are you going to prove it? Suppose I get up there to the San Joaquin and pull in a couple of guys. Well, how am I going to prove anything? Well, I'll, I'll attend to that. You know the Circle Y Ranch? Sure. What about it? A couple of injured train men crawled in there a while ago. They were on that missing locomotive and tender. They were, huh? Well, you don't mean it. I certainly do mean it. Hmm. If you get those two men I told you about, the one who calls himself the Wolf and his henchman Kino... The mystery is solved. Well, say, you begin to make sense, young fella. By God, I'll do it. What's your plan? Get a fast car and head for the crossing at San Joaquin. Yeah? You know the old Schooner Canyon Junction? Well, I reckon I can find it, even in the dark. All right, get up there and hide. If we don't catch them red-handed, it's no good. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, Kent. Say, that is your name, ain't it? But, hey, hey, where are you going? I want to call my paper back east. Tell them to hold the presses for a big break. I'll pay for the call. Operator. Operator. I, uh, I want Perry White, managing editor of the Daily Planet. Yes. Rush it, please. I'll hold the line. Hello. White speaking. Mr. White, this is Clark Kent. Kent? Good Lord, man. I thought you were dead. Where have you been all day? Tied up in a cellar, but I broke out. Listen, Mr. White, how long before you go to press? Now, wait a minute. Why, I'm going to press right now. Well, hold it, will you? Uh, stop the press? It better be good, Kent. Oh, don't worry, it will be. The big break on the Western Railroad story. Kent, are you kidding? You know the warnings on the Silver Clipper? It's coming off tonight. Well, where are you now? In a police station in a little town on the main line. Well, what's going to happen? I don't know, Mr. White, but I know this much. It won't be long. I've got to go now. Will, will you hold the presses? Okay, Kent. You won't regret it. I'll call you the minute I have something. I can't wait. What's all this about a mysterious flying figure? Something called a Superman. Oh, forget it, Mr. White. Somebody's pipe dream, huh? There's been a lot of talk. Well, forget it. I, I'm in a position to know. So long, Mr. White. Good luck, Kent. I'll be waiting. Hey, stop the press. Replay coming. Top column on the Western Railroad. Get a rewrite back. Superman, eh? I should say I am in a position to know. Huck, not much time with a wolf waiting there at the canyon. If I don't get back in time to fix that switch, 40 miles more, faster. Uh, listen, boss, let's get out of this tunnel. I don't like it. Not too long to wait now. What's the time, Kino? Five minutes more. She's on time. She was on time at Creedville. Come on, boys. Let's beat it. A very sound idea, Kino. In five minutes or something less, this tunnel will be a most unhealthy place. What do you think will happen? Something resembling the end of the world, Kino. Screaming brakes, rending steel, billows of steam. Yes, decidedly we should move, my friend. Come. Where to? Down to the tracks where we can observe the switch. Close to the scene of action, but not too close. Listen, are you sure they can't stop in time? Downhill at 90 miles an hour? Impossible, Kino. What if she leaves the rails at the switch? What if she can't take the curve? A chance, but not likely. Come on, man, get moving. Hey, someone's coming. Hey, hey, boss, you better be getting out of that. She's whistling for the highway. Quick, Kino. Minutes count now. There's the train. Traveling fast, all right. Ah, there's the junction. Got a minute, maybe less. Now then, what have those devils done to the tracks? Ah, broken the seals and thrown the switch, eh? Well, it won't take long to fix that. And I'll just rip up a few of the old branch line rails. Just to be sure. 
Ah, that ought to settle things. Well, well, look who's coming. Hey, boss, who's that guy down by the switch? Look, he's tearing up the track. Well, well, what are you doing? Where's your gun? Shoot, shoot. Don't worry, boss, I'll get him. I never missed yet. <laughs> Got him, boss. No, no, you didn't. There he is. You missed him, you fool. Never mind, boss. I won't miss him this time. Hey, you. He know what's the matter with you. All right, then, rush him. The train. Here comes the train. Get that man away from there, Kino. Boss, beat it, beat it. It's him. I see him now. It's the man with the red cape. The train, the train. Run, Kino, run. Make for the car. Made it. Threw the switch just in time. Go on, Silver Clipper. I ball for Salt Lake City in the west. Now then, after those lads in the car. What did you do? Here I come. I tell you, it was him. The guy in the red cape, the, 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 the Superman. Shut up, you know. Whoever it was, I'll settle with him. He threw the switch back and saved the train. Faster, boss, faster. Get away from here. Keep your head, Kino. There's something about this I don't understand. Boss, look out. He's right behind us. He's over our heads. Look, look. What, what is that thing? He's down there in the road ahead. He's standing there. Look out. We're going to crash. Sorry to disturb you, gentlemen. Don't hey. try to get away. Who are you? Put me down. Hey, let me go. Oh, let me go. In one moment. Just now, while I hold both of you with one hand, I've got something else to do. That car, for instance. You won't need it again. Where you're going, I have to make this accident look convincing. The car. Look what he's doing to the car, boss. He's wrecking it. There. No one will ever ride in that again. Hello. Here comes a car. Heard the crash. Must be the police. Well, so long, gentlemen. I'm leaving you now. And if you ever wreck another train or try to, think what you've missed this time. Goodbye. Here's where that crash was. There's a couple of guys lying on the road. Hey, grab them, boys. I wouldn't wonder if they were the fellas that newspaper man was talking about. They tried to make a getaway and cracked up. Well, look where their car got to. Man, life looks like a cyclone, he did. Yes, doesn't it? Uh, or that, uh, that Superman they keep talking about. Well, Good evening, Chief. Say, there you are. Why, it's the reporter. Well, howdy, Mr. Kent. Well, I... Uh, I see you got them all right. Yes, but there was not no train wreck. I guess we scared them off. Keep huh? them off. Yes. Keep them off. Huh? We done it. Put me in jail. Put me anywhere. But don't let that guy touch me again. He just came flying through the air. Say, he's nuts off his head. But that was a confession if I ever heard one. Yes. And if you'll drag the bottom of Schooner Canyon Lake, you'll find that missing engine and tender. What? Huh? And don't forget those two trainmen at the Circle Y Ranch. They'll be your star witnesses. Well, congratulations, Chief. You've caught the train wreckers, all right. Uh, and thanks to you, Mr. Kent. Well, hey, hey, where are you going? Well, I've got to get back to town. My paper's waiting for the story. See you later, Chief. Well, well, Kent, come on in. Well, it's fine to see you back. You've certainly made good in a big way. Thanks, Mr. White. And to show you what I think of you, I'm going to start you right out on another assignment. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's the best news I could possibly hear. Well, wait till you do hear it, my boy. There are one or two things I want to ask you about first. Yes, sir. Uh, I know it sounds foolish, but all these rumors about the mysterious flying figure clad in a red cape and all that, uh, you know anything about this uh, Superman? Do I know anything about this Superman? <laughs> My chief, what a silly question. All right, all right, let it go. Now, I want to talk to you about your next assignment. Uh, just pull up your chair. Yes, sir. Oh, confound it, I told him not to disturb me. Set your own. Wait. You've caught the wolf, my friend, for all the good it'll do you. The wolf has a master, and the master speaks to you now. Here, what the, say, who is this? Uh, Kent, Kent, get over here. My compliments, Mr. Kent, on your first... And last performance. What's he mean? 
you and your newspaper have interfered with my plans. Very well, my friend. In exactly 24 hours at this time tomorrow, you and your newspaper will be blown to a thousand fragments. This is the Yellow Mask. Goodbye. Hey, hey, you! Wait, wait! Come back here! Operator, who was that man? Find him! Find him and trace him! Find him! Whose was the eerie voice calling Editor White on the phone? Who or what is the yellow mask? And can Clark Kent, without revealing his identity as Superman, solve the mystery in the newspaper office? Terrible, deadly danger threatens the Daily Planet. Superman has 24 hours' time. Tune in and follow the story. Now, don't forget, next time, the beginning of Superman's latest adventure. Tune in and don't miss it. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine.